Okay, so when you're installing large format towel, it's always a, a good idea to use a lippage system or a leveling system. And I have one here by Ruby. Uh, these are the wedges. And these are the clips. And this is the, the pliers for cinching them up. Now, when you use a leveling system, you want to make sure you still follow uh, all the recommendations for flat floors. The leveling system is not used to correct a, a bad or uneven or wavy floor. It's used to uh, cinch up or to um, tweak, fine tune lippage between tiles. So I'm going to demonstrate this this leveling system by Ruby. And, uh, you know, Ruby makes some really good products. Uh, this is fairly new by Ruby. Uh, so we're going to try it out and see how it works and go from there. So they make this in, this one's an eighth of an inch, but they also make them in the sixteenth and the thirty-second, so it would be one, two, and three millimeter clips. And I have the eighth inch, which I'm going to be using on this for not the 12 by 12s, but the, the 12 by 24s. And when you install these, what you want to do, usually, you'll see, when, once it's on the wall, I'll, I'll show you. You put them uh, in, in a certain pattern so that you get a good, um, so you get the right, correct amount of, of uh, clips to bring your tiles into plane and eliminate lippage. So, uh, as I said, uh, leveling systems are not for correcting uh, difficult or uneven floors. Uh, they're for uh, tweaking lippage and uh, el eliminating and for adjusting the tile so that when you put your hand across the tile, it's going to be one tile. Is gonna be these ones are pretty flat, so when you go like this, tiles are in plane. If you have one that's out of slightly out of level, then obviously it's just gonna it's gonna it's gonna hit, and you're gonna have lippage, which is actually uh, when two tiles uh, you can see it there higher than the other. So you, this is this is to help eliminate that. And then you can use the tool. So put your wedges in, pinch it up a little bit, and you can use your tool to, to give it a couple of extra clicks. And so when you now that's gonna be perfectly plain, and then if you lift it up, you can see underneath that you know that's how that works. You it pulls the tiles into plane by by causing like a vice action on that. So you've got the flatness on here and you've got the flatness on the bottom and that puts them right in plane. So let's get some tile on the wall. Now I like to just Make that edge there. And then I clip I clip it. So I'm gonna put one on each corner. I'm gonna put one here and one here. And then get my other tile. Now, if you look at this, I'm not seeing how that's hitting there. So I'm going to put these clips in. These clips in. Pinch them up. Now, I'm going to 
the clip. Perfect. Okay, so since she's up, I'm flat here, and I'm level here. Do a little bit of here. Perfect. Now I'll cut these two pieces in, and then we'll start going. And when I push these wedges in, I like to put, push towards the set tile so you don't pull the tiles apart. So instead of pushing this way, if you push this way, you could move this tile like that. But if you're going this way, seeing this is set, you push it in, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna really move that tile. And you can't get the flies in here, but you can just Rake this like that, and what that does, it helps prevent this from coming through the route line. So I'm pulling that one here, and one here. Get my tile cut. Okay, so I'm gonna break this edge here. That's gonna help keep thin set out of the grout joint. clean as you go along. Now, put one here, one here. At every corner I'm going to have one. There's another way of doing it. I'll show you that in a little bit. But I'm going to just show you this way to do it. And just one over here. So. Good. Now I'm going to put wedge here, wedge here, and 
Now if we check that, we'll see that that's already pretty darn good. Now I'm gonna do the same here. Same here. two tiles and put them in. You can adjust this too also for the depth. So I'm gonna actually screw this all the way down. And that's gonna adjust my my depth, how much I can squeeze. So Let's check it out. Perfectly flat. Put the level on it. Perfectly flat all the way across. So when you're using these leveling systems, uh, you want to think about what you're doing. So generally what I will do is when I am putting in the wedges, I will first do the wedges on the horizontal surface for a wall and push my wedges, tighten my wedges down um, towards the tile that's set so that I'm not, when I'm tightening up the wedge I'm not pulling the tiles apart I'm, I'm pushing the tile towards the other tile even on the floor when you when you put in your wedge you want to think about what you're doing you want to push the wedge in the direction of the set tile so that you don't open up the grout joint if you uh, for example were to put the a wedge in and push it towards the unset tile a tile that's that's not be not, not already held in place you could open up the grout line you could always use your use a mallet to to, to you know to uh, like a rubber mallet to uh, tap it back into place but if you think about it and do it strategically all your joints will all be even and and the tiles won't move so as i was saying so on the bottom row i am going to put on it's as this you see this this row of tile i'm putting on the on the around the niche here on the bottom horizontal line I'm going to put all my wedges in and I'm going to tighten them down so what what happens then is I have the uh, all the tiles locked in place so now when I put the ones on the vertical grout lines and I uh, and I tighten those up it's not going to move the tiles that have already been locked in place so that the grout line uh, won't uh, it won't push the, the tile around with the wedge as you're as you tighten it up. Just have to think about it. And again, if you um, if you see that your your grout line is opening up because you're putting the wedge in you know uh, the wrong way, or you 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 opening up a joint as you're putting in the wedge, you can always tap it back into place with a rubber mallet. So I, I don't know if I'm being clear about this, but you just got to do it in a strategic way so that you don't ha don't move your tiles around.
Okay, so that's it for the day. So if I leave the, this, this like this, then when, tomorrow when I have to put the clips in, what's going to happen is, is the thin set's going to be hot and I'm not going to be able to get them in. So put them in now. So I'm going to go here. Okay, so I'm going to put all my clips in and I'm going to get some scrap tile and get a couple of wedges here and there to hold all the, the clips in place so that as the thin, thin set dries, they don't move. Take them out the next day. Got all those in place and I'm ready for tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day. Take those out. Okay, so as I was knocking these out, uh, not one single clip broke and with with the legs sticking in the grout line. In other words, sometimes with these leveling systems, you'll get, uh, you, you know, you'll knock out the, the wedges and then it doesn't break exactly right and you get part of the, the leg stuck in the grout line and then you have to cut it out, uh, you know, so it doesn't show through the, the grout. Uh, for this whole entire job, I, I actually did the shower walls and then I used the, I did it on the shower floor. Uh, the shower floor was actually 12 by 12 tile, uh, but because I wanted to, to try this leveling system out, I actually used it for the 12 by 12 tile. Um, normally when I'm doing a 12 by 12, which is actually a rarity these days, I don't bother with the leveling system. Uh, the leveling systems are best for large format tiles, but you can use them for uh, even 12 by 12 tiles. If you've got a, a rectified edge or you've got a square edge, uh, sometimes it might be might be a good idea. But generally, uh, on a 12 by 12 tile, I won't use them. But as I said, in this case, I actually did just to um, give the system a, a, a fair try, a good try, and. It, as I said, not one leg out of the entire job broke high. They all broke clean. Okay, so collect all the wedges and use them again. So generally when I do these uh, use, use leveling system, I will pretty much always put a clip on each side of the corner. So for each corner, there's four clips. Um, there's another way of doing it. You could uh, actually, especially on a running bond, instead of going uh, on each side of the grout joint, you can put it right on the grout joint. So if you do that, uh, what happens is you don't, um, you can't see the corner. So if the, the corner is misaligned and you can't really see it. So that's why I generally will put a go around the corner instead of directly on the corner. Uh, some guys like to do it that way, um, but you, you need a certain number of clips uh, every so many inch, inches so that you, you actually get an effective use of the leveling system. So as I was saying, generally on a 12 by 12 tile, I won't use a, a leveling system for a 12 by 12. Uh, these days you don't really see that many 12 by 12 tiles you don't use install as many as you used to uh, so but you know you can use it and it you know works really well uh, so uh, I wanted to give this system a fair try to see how how well it worked and I have to say that it's a pretty good system it uh, the, the the clips all broke out clean and 
you know, it did a really nice job. Okay, so this is the end result, uh, installed using Ruby tile leveling system, and it did a really nice job, uh, pretty good system.